be fun to finish a whole room in one day. Oh. All right, room's empty. <laughs> that was quick. And the grass just keeps getting taller and taller and taller. So me and Toby are going to spend some time outside and try to <laughs> get some of this grass uh, mowed up. Um, me and Toby woke up feeling sick two days ago and so hopefully it won't last long. But we're going to get this grass taken care of hopefully. We'll see how that goes. I've never tried to cut grass while he's awake so we'll give it a shot. But you know what? I'll be grateful for it because before long it's going to be fire season and everything's going to be dead. So I'll be grateful for the green grass. My method of distraction for Toby while I cut grass, we'll see how long it lasts, is the hose. You're spraying the hose? Very nice. Popsicle break. Popsicle break. Mm -hmm. What does yours taste like? Mm. It tastes like watermelon. So the other day, me and Toby came to, I don't even know what you call we call them booth stores, like where there's several booths and everyone sells different things like antiques and things. <laughs> and so we... Went the other day looking for a vanity for the bathroom, and I found one that might have worked. So we're gonna come back today, and we're gonna check it out and look at it in more detail. And then there was something else that I was wanting. It was like this globe terrarium hanging with a rope. So I'm gonna see if that's still here. And if it is, I'm gonna get it because I was able to sell something uh, the other day, and that'll help pay for it. Okay, so here is a little dresser thing I found that could possibly be a vanity for the bathroom. It's about three inches too short, but it's solid wood. I think it would clean up pretty nice, and I don't think it'd be that hard to turn it into a vanity and put a sink on top. Check out this wall. Me and Toby were just talking about how his John Deere hat Put this one on for a minute. It's getting a little bit small for him. See? Is your hat too small? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell him what we found instead. Um, this is size hat. It's your size hat? Yeah. We'll put it on. Let's see if it fits better. Oh man, would you look at that? That's amazing. It's a little gappy in the back, but for the most part, you got a new John Deere hat, huh, baby? I love you. Love you. <laughs> love you. Be safe. It's the weekend. It's the weekend! Friday night, baby. Then watched the Fixer Upper while we ate dinner. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling pumped and motivated. Thank you, Chip. Those luscious locks of your hair just makes me want to work. I don't know what it is. <laughs> anyway, she's doing this. Um, if you can hear me, we sent Toby with my mom and dad for the weekend. Oh. They'll be back tomorrow afternoon. So I'm stuck with this. <laughs> We're going to try to get the whole laundry room done. <laughs> like, like finished, like done, yeah. which is going to be crazy because we've been me. doing stuff in Prague. Just, yeah. Just show me. So, hey, you turned the fan on up there. I did. You had it. Good job. I do what I'm told. It's kind of a disaster. It's small, so we should be able to finish this little space. Maybe. We'll <coughs> we got to pull the washer dryer out. We got to pull the hot water heater out. 
and drain it because we got to get the pan for under it and everything. Um, and the flooring. Right, and the flooring, obviously. We got to build a wall here and over to enclose the built in that we built in. Uh, electrical's all ran and stuff. Just got to nail it up to the to the studs and then do a little bit of plumbing to pull everything out. We'll throw um, OSB up on the walls, insulate, and then put pine over the top because that's what we do. Pine is just so much easier and it's less time. It takes less time than drywall does. So I decided to just throw up pine in here too. Because with drywall, you have to mud it and dig dry times and all that kind of stuff. The issue is once we get this hot water heater out of here, guess what? We don't have hot water. Huh. So, who the fuck? So, I rented a an on-demand hot water heater <laughs> that we can plug in and take showers. Okay, not really. It's just going to be built-in motivation for us to work as fast as possible because and Tomorrow's Saturday, the next day is Sunday, and Mother's Day. I don't want to have to go to church like this. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll sooner shower in the cold water than not shower, but... So, okay, we're going to take everything out, put it in there, <coughs> build this wall tonight, get everything stripped down to where we can just insulate, and then we'll go to Lowe's either late... No, nope, not tonight. Probably early tomorrow morning. I'll probably get up early while I let my sick little wife stay in bed. We're not replacing the window or nothing. Um, exterior wall, we're not really going to even touch. We'll pull the paneling down, but then we'll just... As long as I can get to that electric... Are we insulating the bathroom wall then? Yes. Okay, so something I was struggling with with the kitchen is... I don't ever know where to put the uh, like larger appliances. Like the KitchenAid or the microwave or the toaster oven, stuff <coughs> like that. So I told Jared if he could... Put an outlet or two on this wall for me, and can you see where I'm showing you? Man, I forgot about that. I would have done that when I did electrical. You, I know, but you didn't do any of this. You said, oh, I can do that later. Anyway, he forgot about it, but I just reminded him. He was going to put some outlets on this wall, and then after it's all walled in, put a couple of shelves so that I could put the microwave in here and leave it plugged in and have all my appliances small appliances just in here put away so that I don't have to have everything out on the counter because I don't like appliances on the counter. So that's the plan. Let's do it to it. And I have to talk to Jared about the vanity that I told you about. Possibly I've been wishy-washy deciding if we're going to do that or not. He said I can get it. Why? Because I get anything I want. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks because I got a raise. She's like, oh, can I get this? Whatever. Can I, get this? I got him to take 15 less. Uh, I'm, Told so, I'm 50 so bucks. proud of you. Can you get me this now? <laughs> you should have seen the other ones, though. They're like 150 I saw one today. It was perfect for 175 So, can I have the $175 one or the $50 one? Make it 45 and you got a deal. <laughs> this would be fun. You can finish a whole room in one day. Oh. this week to kind of show you how it works and to kind of test it out but we had to give it back to its owner so these next or this weekend is not filmed with that little camera it's filmed with our phone again but we'll give it another shot another time hey, nice shot back where'd you get it 20 bucks would you take it for five mm. sure <laughs> that was their price on it 20 and I was kind of interested interested in it and uh was like well i don't know i already got one they said we take for five bucks and i said yep <laughs> tell me what you're taking out 
A live gas line or something? I'm taking out a live gas line. You're just gonna cut it, right? This was the heating source back in the day. They said a little propane tank or something or her. And then there's a big old propane furnace up in our attic that eventually we need to cut out and but there's this pipe ran all the way, so I'm gonna cut it and take it all out and replace it with lights so that when I go to work up in the attic I can go pook, flick on the light and all the lights will light up all the way down. Ooh. Done. Hey, this can go in scrap metal, huh? to address something. Have you ever noticed that they never show you on demo day like all the little things. Like somebody on demo day has to go around and pull all the nails and screws out and trim up edges and make sure there's no extra debris just sitting around. Like it's not all just fun and games like plowing stuff over, you know? Just thought I wanted to point that out. Remember that next time you watch your favorite show? There's somebody that goes around and does all that little stuff. You're moving mountains, babe. One stone at a time. <laughs> Well, poop. I was hoping power came in through these guys and it ended here, but it doesn't. The power comes in, I'm guessing, from underneath and up, and then it transfers it over. <sighs> Which means I probably have to tear this guy off, see where that goes, and it probably just goes straight down, and then... This stinks out loud. So, you might be asking yourselves, what's wrong with the old wire like this? You know, it's wrapped, it's got a ground and all that. Well, it's cloth and it kind of disintegrates a little bit. Well, they, I don't know, someone just taped over this, don't know why. Maybe a little bit of it was exposed. Oh yeah, a little bit. But then inside the wall, totally disintegrated. There must have been a little leak or something. And I'm surprised it hasn't sparked and tripped something because that black, uh, I wanted to say conduit, but it's not conduit. Uh, yes. Romex that's on this wire. I don't know if you can see that, but literally there's the wire. That copper wire that is hot was right there with the ground. If those wires would have touched when it had power, <laughs> zap. Number one cause of house fires, bad electrical. Actually, I'm pretty sure number one is dryer lint. Well, there you go. Glad we're replacing these old wiring. <coughs> these old wiring, this old wire. <coughs> I had to save that for tomorrow, but after that, this wall will be ready to finish. And then there's literally only that mud room and stuff has old wiring and the bathroom vanity, which that, when we do that project, we'll fix that wiring. But still have not yet been able to sleep a wink at all so we'll see how my energy feels today <laughs> I think these are supposed to be installed uh, 
sitting up on something. Oh, what? Because they don't drain ever. Like at King Street, it wouldn't drain to the hose. Because there's no... That's true. Is it full? Yeah, it's pretty full. So I had to bring the hot water heater out here while it was full because it wouldn't drain because because let me show you all sorts of buildup in there but I got it unclogged okay, we made our list and now we're going out for a product run a materials run on our way to Lowe's we're gonna get something to eat on the way back so that we get home and just start working yeah so we're gonna go and get the vanity and go to Lowe's, get the things we need to hopefully finish that room. And if we don't at least finish it, we kind of talked last night about um, just really finishing behind the water heater. So absolute minimum, we can put the water heater back in. Hopefully we can get a lot done. Hopefully. The issue is Katie slept mm, maybe an hour last night. I'd give it maybe two. But I pulled myself together. And she looks fabulous. Put on some makeup so I look flawless. <laughs> I'm up, like forcing my eyes to be open because this is kind of what they just want to do. So I might be working and send her out to take a nap in the sunshine. I'm not going to do that because because I can sleep like I got, that. <laughs> well no. Well this is actually a good change because usually you're like well, I did this while Katie and Toby are sleeping. And this time, it's like, man, Katie stayed up all night, pulled an all-nighter while I was sleeping. What a bum. Yeah, but you didn't do anything productive. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, though. That would have been good. Hey, yard sale. No, we're not here for yard sales. Girls, come here. Come here. What are you guys doing? Do you smell something? Hi, honeys. How's it going? How's it going, Ramona? Beezus? Hi, Lacey. Come here, corn dog. Corn dog. No? They're still so shy. Hopefully, corn dog doesn't take after her mom. Look at y'all cozied up. You're not supposed to snuggle with wool sweaters on in the summertime. It's time to open our eyes wide bright, get some progress done, and maybe I'll take it out. Ready? Yep. The problem is, is I can't, I have to pretend I'm so energetic and happy and hyper and stuff. Well, I am happy, I'm just not hyper. Cause I don't know about you guys, but when like, when one of us is tired, it spreads to the other one very quickly. So I need to open these big anime eyes <sighs> and wake up so that I don't make Jared sleepy. So I think we're gonna build in these walls first so that I can start pining them while Jared does some electrical and some plumbing. Build that wall. It's gonna be a really, really tight fit. screw the light box in, that switch box, and then we'll start doing the OSB on the wall, and then pine time. Now we're going to pine on that side behind the water heater, and he's going to work on the electrical over here. Jared was working on the plumbing for the water heater, and a pipe broke. I'm really thrilled about it too. Aren't you? <laughs> Because things aren't supposed to go super smooth, right? Yeah, I felt like it was. Uh, me too. Now I gotta pull this whole cabinet out so I can access it over here. And who knows what it's gonna do to this grout and edge of the tile. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. It's nice when they don't install cabinets properly. Want me to go back there and push? Yeah, probably. So, I'm definitely not an electrician. Um, I don't know if this is normal or not. I kind of doubt it. Let me show you the ground for the hot water heater. I broke a pipe trying to get it out, but that's what was connected to the ground for the hot water heater. So, for all you electricians out there, tell me if that's to code, please. I finished my my duties for now until there's more, until we can get more uh, OSB on the wall. And Jared's trying to, what are you trying to do? Come up with an ingenious way to suck out mm, that much junk out of this uh, hot water heater. So, bought a bottle of this Fix-A-Leak stuff for the hot tub. Seemed to fit pretty stinking good in here. So cut the bottom out, put that on here. Got a little flexible conduit left over. It's a thumping. So, you're supposed to drain these once a year. We don't know how long. I mean, they've had it since 2010. So, who knows if they've ever drained it before we got it. But, but it's literally was this full of junk in there. So, we'll see how much we get in the shop back. Saw this little tutorial on YouTube and, uh, we didn't have the same part, so decided to make our own. And I think it's working so far pretty good. Oh, this feels so sludgy in there. Ooh. Now, oh, I emptied this right before. Oh. <laughs> Two hours has gotten me pretty far today. The Lord has given me the strength that I needed, and that's what I've been praying all day. But I am running a little thin right now, so I'm going to take a little break and see if I can fall asleep. If I can take a nap or not. I'll see how it goes. And then we'll wake up and get more stuff. Alright. Pipes. New valve. That was where it broke. So I had to move the, uh, the cabinet in the bathroom. Well, I just tried to take a nap for a while, but... I was still coughing so much that my cough wouldn't let me sleep. So I got my shoes back on, go drink some water, and get back to work and see what all Jared got done while I was trying to sleep. So you want to go to the kitchen? No, no, you come on the other side of the door. Not only did mom and daddy has to bring my sweet Toby boy back, but they're staying here and she's watching Toby so me and Jared can keep working. And daddy has is out there cutting the grass. Isn't that so nice? Can you say last one? Last one. Good job. Do. Build it today. The only thing we gotta do is pine this. Well, you can't really just pine corners because they go at a stair step. But we are hoping to get this all pined so that we could put that bad boy back. So we're kind of out of time crunch with the water heater and we were thinking we were going to have to pine this whole entire wall and that whole entire wall and then paint it all before we could get the water here in because that was the plan but then daddy has said why don't you do a texture break and or pattern break and put the panels up and down that way we would have that pattern break as well as we don't have to pine the whole wall before we put it in tonight so good idea because we're going to have some hot water here too. I'm 
painting my house. So the reason I'm painting right now, <laughs> when we haven't finished all the pine, is so that we don't have to move the water heater again to keep painting and stuff. So we just did this little corner, put the water heater in, and then we can finish at our leisure. So last night, went to hook it up, and good old trusty broke. And I guess they kind of do when you try to reuse them because you're bending them in a different shape. So, ha had no hot water. So, went to Lowe's, bought replacements, and put it in today. Here's the episode of The Handsome and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> you the beast? Well, my shirt says Unleash the Beast. Oh. And I'm not feeling the greatest. Maybe the so. baby is a beast. <laughs> so back from church. She didn't go to church. She was a slacker today. I live streamed and want, it was an incredible message. She didn't want to. Okay, here. Right. Progress this week. We kind of not felt near a as much ambitious. That I wanted. Yes, we definitely felt more ambitious. Um, but we we did not plan for the unexpected. UPS teaches us expect the unexpected. Well. Pipe broke, you know, wires weren't right, wired correct, and issue after issue. So, um, needless to say, we didn't get it done. But, but we did get a lot done. You got it's, so much done. We did get stuff done, so we'll show you some before and after videos of where we are now. Uh, this is kind of an in between, but this week this is my last week. I got five days of work and I'm on vacation. So, during those five days, <coughs> During those five days, I'm gonna try to get this laundry room done so that Saturday we don't even have to worry about it. So we'll see because when Katie's sick and she's home all day with Toby, she kind of needs a break when I get home, and so I might not be able to work, but I might. So um, stay tuned and pray for my wife. Hopefully, she feels better. And thanks for watching. <laughs>